Is the paperless office something that you should be doing? I'm Dave Crenshaw, and it's time to pick Dave's brain. This week's question comes from Iqbal in Letchworth Garden City, the UK. He asks, I'm a fan of your time management course on LinkedIn Learning. I believe in the concept of a paperless office, so I try to scan all of my pages. The issue is that as I'm scanning the papers, they end up in another area where they then have to be processed. I'm not sure how this scanning process would fit in to your time management principles. Thanks for the question, Iqbal. It's not the first time that I've heard about the paperless office, and some of my clients like to use it. Personally, I'm not a fan of it, or I don't really use it is probably the better way to say it. I just simply don't see the value in having to convert everything from paper to digital documents. Now perhaps if I were in a legal office and I had thousands of documents, that might make sense. But understand that there's a difference between a practice, a system that you follow, and the underlying principle. The principle is we want to be efficient. We want to get through things quickly and we want to have quick access to things. The practice that you follow, such as a paperless office, can change. Some people might want to use a file cabinet. Some people might want to scan everything. The question is, how can we use the paperless office if you choose to use it in the most efficient way possible? I think the answer is hidden in the question itself. What you're saying is you are scanning items and then processing them. I would reverse that. First, process the items. Processing is the act of deciding what, when, where, what the next step is, when will it be done, and where is its home. So in the process of processing, you're deciding whether or not you should scan the item. You want processing to be the highest priority, not scanning. Some of the documents aren't even worth keeping. So first, put them into an approved gathering point, such as your email or a physical inbox. Then after processing them, if you decide it's worth keeping, then scan them and put them into the paperless office. I think that very subtle switch will make all the difference in your ability to effectively use the paperless office. Thanks for the question, Iqbal. And if you have a question you'd like me to answer, please go to davecrenshaw.com forward slash ask, where you can ask me anything that's on your mind and how I can help you become a more productive leader. Thanks for watching.